People in our northern counties are still without power this afternoon. More than 7,300 Consumers Energy customers waiting for their lights to be turned back on. Consumers Energy hosted a free community breakfast this morning at a restaurant in Greenville, 1300 sides of Veronica Ortega. Caught up with some folks going on day four with no power. She's joining us now live from the newsroom. Veronica, how are these folks doing? Kirk, as well as can be expected under the circumstances, and despite some frustration, residents say they see crews working around town, working hard to get that power fully restored. Many people took advantage of the opportunity to get out of their cold houses and enjoy a nice, warm, free meal. Turk Lake Restaurant and Bar was packed for most of the morning, but it's a race against the clock now to get power restored to everyone, especially with another winter storm expected to hit tomorrow. I'm a little concerned, yes, because I know they still have a lot of work to do and they don't need more complications with what they're doing already. I think they're handling it pretty well. Uh, we're, we're rural folks out here and we look after each other. Uh, if there's needs, we try to help anywhere we can. And let's just hope that the one coming in tomorrow doesn't cause more. <laughs> and they can get everybody up and running before it gets here and they can get home safely. More than 600 Consumers Energy crew members have been working to restore power across Michigan after two impactful storms in a one week span, some working 16 hour shifts and they're still on the ground bracing for more tomorrow. Consumers Energy says they are hopeful that almost all customers will have their power fully restored by the end of the day. In the newsroom, Veronica Ortega, 13 on your side.